What's up everybody, I'm Jeffrey Hessler. Welcome back to the channel. This is Jeff Hess CFB. If you didn't check out the last video, please go do so. We talked about Texas football, Steve Sarkeesian, Quinn Ewers, Bijan Robinson, a lot of their key additions through the transfer portal this offseason, my expectations for them, and just how I think their season will play out. If you didn't check out that video, please go do so. Um, today we'll be talking about a huge addition to the Ohio State's 2023 class, now the number two class in the country, Carnell Tate wide receiver out of IMG Academy. He is the number three wide receiver per 24-7 sports. Some recruiting sites have him as the number one receiver in the country. I personally think he is the number one receiver in the country, most complete at least. So with that being said, we're going to get right into it. Um, he is a 6'2", 170-pound wide receiver out of Florida, originally from Chicago. Great size, as in length, my bad. Great length, great speed, great route running, great hands. Could fill out a little bit as he gets into college and everything. He's a little bit skinnier as of right now, but I don't think it'll hurt him in the long run because I think he will fill out, you know, body by Marathi. If you don't know what that is, Buckeye fans know what that is. Mickey Marathi, strength and conditioning coach at Ohio State. He'll get that kid filled out real quick. Um, this is huge for the Buckeyes, gaining momentum now. Um, Carnell Tate plays for South Florida Elite a seven on seven team and seven on seven has been growing through the years when it comes to recruiting and everything like that and there's many recruits on that team that Ohio State is targeting right now um, they already have a commitment from running back Mark Fletcher now they got Carnell Tate they got Brandon Ennis in their sights um, Dante Moore is also on that team don't really think the Buckeyes will end up landing him I think that goes to Oregon but uh, and Dijon Johnson uh, DB as well so Huge for the Buckeyes. I think this could help with their recruitment and Brandon Ennis. They have hinted at wanting to play together before in college, um, you know, really close with each other. So I think that is a big recruiting pool for Brian Hartline, big recruiting pool for the Buckeyes. Um, you really look back and it started since 2019. You go out and you get Garrett Wilson, five-star receiver. You get Jackson Smith and Jigba, Julian Fleming, Emeka Ibuka, and now Carnell Tate. Those are all five-star receivers. Some of those guys being the number one receiver as with Garrett Wilson, Julian Fleming, and Mekabuka and Carnell Tate. Again, per perspective of different recruiting sizes. So then that's not even mentioning guys like Marvin Harrison, um, Jamison Williams, uh, G. Scott is in that mix, Keon Grays, um, Kojo Antwi, Caleb Burton, guys like that, man. I mean, the receiving class that Brian Hartline is building is ridiculous. Uh, you know, if you're not a wide receiver, if you're a wide receiver and you're looking for the best place to go, I don't see why you go anywhere other than Bama or Ohio State, honestly. I think I've talked about it before. I see Ohio State turning into wide receiver U here in the next couple years. Brian Hartline is a mastermind. He's arguably the best coach, um, position coach, wide receiver coach in the country, and that's undeniable. He, The way he developed Garrett Wilson, the way he developed Chris Olave, the way he's developed Jackson Smith, Marvin Harrison, all these guys, we'll see if he can do the same with Emeka Ibuka, Julian Fleming, and the rest. But you can't deny what he's already done. Um, he's a great recruiter, one of the best recruiters in the country. This also helps guys like Devin Brown, guys like Dylan Riola, who just committed a couple weeks ago, the number one quarterback in the nation, because it takes so much off these quarterbacks to have these great receivers. And Dylan Riola already said that back when he committed to Ohio State. You know, his, his job is easy. He's got the top receivers. He's got the top running backs. He's got the top linemen. It makes your job easier, and it makes quarterbacks want to come in. And I've talked about Ryan Day and his quarterback cycle, you know, going Dwayne Haskins. Dwayne Haskins wasn't his recruit, but you've seen the stats he put up with Ryan Day as a quarterback coach. So you see Dwayne Haskins, and it goes to Justin Fields and C.J. Stroud. Then you get Quinn Ewers, who ultimately did not play. But you get Devin Brown, you get Kyle McCord, you get Jack Miller, you get Dylan Riola, the number one player in the country, number one quarterback. And it's just an embarrassment of riches in Columbus right now. Um, it's a great time to be a Buckeye, great time to be a Buckeye fan. I know a lot of Ohio State fans will be ecstatic to get this guy. He's a great receiver. Like I said, the number one receiver in my eyes in this in this class. Um, but you got to give it up to, to Brian Hartline and Ryan Day, man. Their recruiting right now is completely heating up. I think Hartline gets another big, huge recruitment out of Brandon Ennis. I think the Buckeyes ultimately get Brandon Ennis, and that is huge. Um, Noah Rogers, another receiver who just recently committed to Ohio State. It's just an embarrassment of riches, like I said, man. And um, these quarterbacks are going to keep coming in. These receivers are going to keep coming in. And in long term, I'm thinking, you know, if Ryan Day ends up leaving Ohio State, the reason I don't think Brian Hartline will leave Ohio State is because I think Brian Hartline will ultimately 
become the head coach of Ohio State maybe in the near future if the time comes. That's if the time comes. So take that with a grain of salt. But you know, a lot of these a lot of these big receivers, man, they they like Brian Hartline as a person. They like what he's got going on. You see guys like Michael Thomas in the NFL, Garrett Wilson speaking on this room at Ohio State. Um, you know, saying great things about you know even the young guys that are coming in, and it's just so much hope for Buckeye fans, man. This is a great recruiting team when it comes to the coaches, um, and this is going to be a great recruiting class, I believe, for this 2023 class. You know, they already got Luke Mon- Luke Montgomery out of Ohio. Um, they got Mark Fletcher running back. They got Dijon Johnson. Mentioned him. Now you got Carnell Tate. You got on the the lines. You got Brandon Ennis, and then. A huge commitment, I think, for the Buckeyes could be Caleb Downs, a safety, number one safety in the country. Guy is a game changer, man. He is a game changer. Out of Georgia, um, you know, Bama's still in that mix. You know, we'll see because he has an official visit at Bama coming up soon. We'll see ultimately how it plays out. But the Buckeyes, as of right now, I would say are in the lead. And, you know, I don't think anything's going to slow down in Columbus. I think the momentum's going to keep carrying. I think it's going to carry all year in the season. I think it's going to carry in recruiting, and it's just going to keep – it's just going to be an umbrella effect. So with that being said, man, you guys, make sure you like this video. Leave a comment if you like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Check out some of my other videos. We're going to be hopping in some preseason things, some preseason rankings. I'm going to break that down different. So it's going to be my top 25 going into next season but we're going to break it down into segments so i don't have to sit here and talk about my whole entire 25 i'll give you guys you know my top 25 through 20 15 through 10 and so on so that being said you guys take it easy